Hey guys, I'm going to tell you how you can burn ISOs for the Dreamcast. Now first, what you want to do is you want to search for an ISO in Google. And, um, you can put whatever you want. Now, what you want to do is, you want to go and find, find it, and download it. It may come into parts, but it will eventually come together. Um, if you don't know how to do parts, what you want to do is you want to get a program called WinR, and what that will do is, you would click on all of them and it will just compile them into one file. Um, I'm not going to do this because I already have something. Um, like Dream Explorer. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get a another program called Disc Juggler. You don't even have to have a full version. This is an old version, so so stuff might be a little bit different. So what you want to do is you want to create a new document. You can um, do CD image to CD recorder if you're going to play it on a Dreamcast. Or, or you could do the exact opposite if you have a Dreamcast game. In this case, I'm going to pick this. I'm going to go and search for the file that I have here. Um so like dream ooh wrong one. So um so you got this right here. Dream Explorer, like I have. Now, what you want to do is you want to select your destination. You might have multiple, but um, oh, you can, you can't, and I can't stress this enough. You can't use a CD rewritable. It has to be a CDR, or else your Dreamcast won't play it. Um, so if you wanted action. You can choose to write it, you can choose to write and verify, or test and if okay write, and then test and if okay write, then verify. I recommend that you would do write and then verify instead of like testing, because that's like, like slow. And what you want to do is you want to make it so it's one time. Um, writing. And what you want to do is you want to make it a raw file. And make it mode 2 and a CDDA. Now you're ready to write. Um, here I'll show you how to do it if, if it's the other way around. If you have like a disk. So now what you want to do is you want it to pick your drive and your destination, which could be various. It doesn't have to, it doesn't matter. Now what you do is that you hit start and it will copy over in, in 
might take a while. I don't know. It depends on what kind of game. Um, then what you do is, if you burn, burn it onto your CD, you can play it on your Dreamcast. Or, what you can do is that when you have, like, a game, what you want to do is you want to go and go to your emulator folder, and you might want to create a folder named ROM. And just place your ROMs in there. You start it, and there's various emulators out here, so it's not going to be that accurate. But but usually you want to go is usually file or emulation, either or, because I've seen it in emulation. Then hit load ISO image. And... There's different stuff. Um, so that's how you burn a Dreamcast game or copy one over. Now I'm not making this mo mo movie for for um, pirating. This is for demonstrations only. And if you have a disc or you own the game, you can do you can use it without any legal problem, but if you pirate, you, you're really doing something wrong, and